Australian plants and gardens started to evolve back into native gardens, indigenous gardens, if you will, back in the 80s. But before that, it was all camellias and azaleas, terrible plants, rhododendrons. I mean, people would come to Sydney and say to me, what's that tremendous smell? And I'd say, well, that's frangipani. And it's a beautiful aroma around spring and summer. I will forgive a hydrangea or an agapantha, of course, uh, just on a nostalgic level. I like tea tree, the gnarled root of a tea tree bush, the beautiful aspect it gives to a, a coastal climb, if you will, and native grasses, of course. But uh, I've ejaculated on them all because I like it. I'm a child of the 60s in many respects. So peace. But Harvey and I, no parallel to be drawn there. I guess the essential difference between Harvey and my approach to botany is mine was a solo pursuit. I enjoy ejaculating on various genus of plant. I mean, I once came on an aspidistra out in a driveway. I mean, I've had a thundering wank into a maidenhair fern. I've choked the chicken into a peace lily. I've polished the rocket into cacti. I've strapped off a batch into a bonsai oak. I quite enjoy it. But mind you, I think Harvey, there was a perversion and it was assault. And I mean, look at the guy's head. It's quite grotesque, isn't it? He looks like a troll. Are we ready? <laughs>